Hi everyone, here's a quick overview of the Lululemon fitness mirror conversion that I did with my son for this summer project. And our goal was to create a home dashboard that would blend in seamlessly with the rest of our furniture and allow us access to the family calendar and have music play in the background. And so um, if you're not familiar, the mirror was a fitness startup that Lululemon acquired in 2020 for $500 million. And less than two and a half years later, they shut down the business and are no longer investing in this. And they wrote off $443 million, unfortunately. And so there's a lot of these units sitting around with people who are no longer subscribers. And these originally cost $1,500. And now you can find them for a couple hundred dollars or less if you look at Facebook Marketplace. And so that's exactly what we did. We found a unit for a hundred dollars and we went to go pick that up. And when you plug it in, this is what it does. It will turn on and have a loading screen and it will try to connect you with your Wi-Fi. And unfortunately, the only way to connect it to your Wi-Fi is to have an account set up. And so you would have to contact Lululemon directly to set up a new account and then get this connected to your Wi-Fi. So effectively, you have a brick or a paperweight here that you can't use and you can't connect anything into it unless you hack it. And so we searched online on YouTube and there are a couple videos available that show how to hack into the Lululemon mirror. And these two videos from Dablet are examples of that. We found these very helpful to walk through step by step, but even these were um, beyond our technical ability. So we had to take some shortcuts and alternate solutions to get this working the way that we wanted. So when you open up the mirror, this is what it looks like inside. And you'll basically end up pulling out all of these cables because you don't need the existing controller board that's in here or the camera or the other sensors. And the first step is to look up what model number you have for the TV. And so it's this string of letters and numbers. And fortunately, this was the exact same model that Dablet had in hers. And we were able to find this controller driver board on eBay that matched our model. It was $23 and it took a couple weeks for it to ship to us from China. And so the process of replacing the existing cables from the controller board and putting in a new one is pretty straightforward. And so we followed those steps and we had initial success. This, this is um, us being happy that we were able to put a fire stick just as a test onto the mirror and actually have a display that was under our own control. Obviously the orientation is fixed and it's landscape and our goal would be to have something vertical. So some additional challenges that we still needed to solve, but at least we were happy that we had video working. Uh, the next step was audio and Dablet used an embedded uh, audio amplifier to connect the speakers to her setup. We couldn't get that to work, unfortunately. And so we found this external amplifier that still fits with inside the case. Um, the only drawback with this is it has an external power brick. And so uh, we, we were okay with that, but this gave us the ability to connect the existing speaker wires into the left and right side of this amplifier and then have aux out, uh, an aux input to take from the line out from the TV controller board. So then we were able to get sound working. Uh, the next problem to solve was the input and we thought that maybe a wireless display would work because that would be pretty neat to have something wired like a phone just connect to this and be able to control on the screen and it did work well and it solved the landscape versus portrait issue by having a phone connected to this but unfortunately every time you turn it on it would take 10 to 15 seconds to connect wirelessly versus a hard line connection. And our goal was something that was instantaneous. So um, we were able to get this, uh, we tried this out, but ultimately went with a direct HDMI input. Um, and Dablet used a Raspberry Pi in her setup. 
that was beyond our technical ability and we wanted something that was a little more straightforward like windows based that gave us more options for um, the type of software that we would be running and so as luck would have it my wife has an old surface book that has a very common problem amongst first and second generation surface books which is that the battery stall start bulging and actually make this quite unsafe to use. And we had the problem in both the screen and the keyboard base because the screen is detachable. So it has a battery on both parts and the batteries start to expand and we wouldn't want something that explodes. So um, instead of just junking this, we went on the side quest to open up the computer for both the display screen and the keyboard itself and remove the batteries to make this safe to operate. And even this, we weren't sure if the unit would work if the batteries were completely removed, but instead of just junking the computer, we decided to give this a, a try. And so we removed the batteries from both parts and we had success. So here's the uh, mirror with a laptop connected to it. And we're able to actually have full control now and have something like YouTube in the right orientation connected. Um, we wanted to have the unit turn on and off automatically without having to actually lean down and hit the switch. And Dablet used a Raspberry Pi camera and some programming to automatically turn on or off. That was beyond our ability. So we opted with this motion controlled outlet and just plug the mirror directly into this. And this works really well and gives you the option to have it automatically turn off after one, two, five, 10 or 20 minutes. And so here's um, the solution that we opted for, which works well. And the last thing to solve for was inputs. And unfortunately it's not a touch screen. And so we decided that an air mouse or a wireless mouse would be the best solution and also gives a keyboard input to be able to do uh, YouTube searches or Spotify searches. And so this actually works really well um, also for this setup. And so that solves all the hardware pieces. Um, the last thing is the software side. And so what to actually display on the unit itself. And we came across this Chrome extension called Productivity Tab, which allows us to create a custom homepage dashboard. And it really has everything that we wanted on a display in the free version. Uh, this, they have some paid options, but even on the free version, it allows us to have an inspirational quote, the weather, Spotify and YouTube integration to our own accounts, calendar for uh, Google Calendar, email, and uh, some news articles as well. And so uh, we were very happy to find this. Uh, there's a popular solution called Dackboard that a lot of people use, but that um, they're really aiming for a paid subscription through that. So we, we thought Productivity Tab worked really well for our needs. So here's a look at it all coming together. All right, a second and final update for our Magic Mirror Summer project. So here we have it all set up, and it's actually on a motion detector. So as you approach, it'll turn on, and we have it set up for a home screen, has a calendar for the family of events, and our weather forecast, an inspirational quote, it's hooked up to a wireless mouse, so we can turn on Spotify and have that play through the speakers. We can have some YouTube shorts connected to it. I don't need a lot. Perfect relationship. I did. Has a link to emails, some news, some you can read some articles, sports scores, a shopping list. If you open up. A news article opens up full page, kind of a modern version of reading a newspaper, and you can go back. And we have it all set up to help keep track of everything organized for the family. So all built into the mirror, and then it's on a 
timer so it'll turn off after 10 minutes. You can actually adjust it between four seconds and 20 minutes to automatically turn off. So um, just some hidden tech for our summer project. Thanks everyone.